Let's talk about Tesla stock. It is getting decimated. Down over 72% year to date, down 53% you know, the past six months and down 40% the past one and alone today it is down 11%. Is it going to pull a Roku where Roku from the top to the current down is down over 90% as well as other stocks like PayPal and Shopify? Is it going to do that? And in this video, I want to go over the technical analysis. I want to go over kind of what is happening with Elon Musk and Twitter um, right now. And I want to go over my price target because I really think that Tesla is going for $600. And I will explain why I am thinking that. And it is going to be a very, very nice, simple video. So I'll be going over why Tesla stock is dropping in the first place, why I don't like Tesla as an investment for long term, what is the Tesla bottom and what is next for Tesla. And in fact, two months ago, I made a video on why Tesla stock was going to crash. And I recommend really watching that video because you could really get and understand and see my thought process on how we really predicted the crash for Tesla. And the cool part about this video was because I made and I told you guys on how you guys can actually profit off of the Tesla crash. And we bought into TSLS, as I mentioned, into the video. So we got into TSLS, which is a Tesla short stock, and we are up over 50% as I alerted on the Discord as well as all the servers and as well as mentioned on the video, uh, the YouTube video for why I was shorting Tesla stock. So I'll be going over a lot in this video. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to leave a like and let's get started. And so why is Tesla stock dropping in the first place? There are many, many reasons as I explained in the video. Okay, I explained in this video on many reasons on why Tesla stock was going to drop. We had the earnings where, okay, every single quarter we have been killing for Tesla earnings. It has been crushing it, but this is not sustainable, especially with interest rates and the economic pressure. Tesla, you know, for the future earnings, it does not look good. So that was the first reason on why Tesla stock is dropping okay, economic pressure. But the main reason that kind of started this off was Elon Musk and Twitter. Elon Musk going political. And this to me, you know, it kind of was a wake up call. And this kind of started off the downturn for Tesla stock where it was dropping 10%. You know, every other day, you had a lot of people getting margin calls. So why? Is Tesla stock dropping? Well, you have Elon Musk who bought Twitter. I'm not sure if he bought it in loan, but either way, he bought Twitter and he is going very, very political to the right. And most of his Tesla investors, as well as people who buy, um, you know, Tesla, are really left leaning. You know, climate change, clean energy, and this to me was kind of like a turning point because he's kind of now insulting his you know hardcore audience and i know a lot of people was trending all over twitter on people just not buying tesla anymore and in fact i actually had a close relative of mine telling me this you know people are saying like okay owning a tesla is like owning you know like a maga hat now so this to me is very very absurd i usually don't talk about politics i'm not you know any leading any politics but if you're involving in politics you are going to be pissing off the other side and that is what elon musk is doing and as an investor, I don't want, you know, any company to go political, which I am investing in. So obviously, Elon Musk going uh, political was really the main point that was the turning point. But we're talking about Tesla. Tesla was over, overly valued. Everyone knew that. And, you know, if you probably have seen this chart where all of the top automi uh, automobile 
um, combined or like Tesla market cap. So this to me was another huge one. It was overdue for a Tesla correction, especially with the economic concerns. Tesla is going to take a huge, huge turn. Now, why I don't like investing in Tesla? I despise stocks like Tesla, and I'm going to be tell. I'm going to tell you why. To me, Tesla is a hype stock. It is overvalued. I don't want to buy in into a overvalued stock. To me, investing in like Tesla is same as investing into AMC. It is way, way overvalued. Okay, you have seen this chart many, many times. The growth is really not sustainable. And you also have many, many other car companies um, getting into the market. We have Rivian, you had Neo, you had uh, GM and Ford getting into it. Now, I love Tesla. I really think Tesla is the best car company. I, you know, I'm looking forward for the Cybertruck. But as a investor, I'm not going to put my money into Tesla because the risk to reward is not worth it. There's a lot more risk. It is definitely overvalued. So I really call Tesla as a hype or a meme stock. And now what is the Tesla bottom? So what am I thinking um, for the Tesla bottom? And I want to go into the chart. Let's go over into the chart. And I'm saying, you know, around 56 uh, to $60. This is my price, uh, price target. And I want to explain why. And I'll be making a whole another video on this tomorrow on why I'm thinking Tesla is crashing to $60, but I'm going to make a whole video tomorrow on the overall market. So make sure to subscribe and make sure to leave a like subscribe with notifications on. So taking a look at the chart for Tesla, the reason that I picked 60 bucks is because that is the previous COVID high. 60 bucks, uh, $60 was the previous COVID high um, here. I'm going to switch this up, but this is the $60 level. And this whole run up was due to COVID. Okay, you had a lot of people with stimuluses putting in the stock market. And now you have quantitative tightening, you have raising interest rates. And now all of that money is getting wiped away. And we are now headed to pre covid levels i will be explaining this very very in depth uh tomorrow in my tomorrow's video so make sure to subscribe with notifications on but 62 dollars around 60 dollars makes sense to me and again i am shorting tesla stock and i'm up over 50 percent already as i made a whole video on youtube okay i made a whole free video on YouTube explaining my thesis and thought process. I'm up over 50%. I already sold half of my position, but I'm holding through for $60, going to be trimming out for my profits because again, we might get some temporarily bounces until we hit $60. So this is going to be my price target for 60, uh, which is going to be $60. And that is what I will be thinking for Tesla and not just Tesla. I'm also thinking that for SPY. I'm also thinking that for Apple, especially Apple. Apple does not look good. And I'm going to be explaining all of this in tomorrow's video on why Apple is also going to be dropping around 83 bucks, which is the pre COVID um, level. So I'll be doing that in a whole video tomorrow. But that is really my thought process with Tesla. Tesla honestly just does not look good. But this head and shoulder was a prime setup to short Tesla. And it's not like that you know, I dislike Tesla. Again, I just don't like to invest in Tesla. If I see a trade setup, I'll play it. Uh, you know, for example, we had this nice setup. We had this head and shoulder. I still trade stocks that I don't like because we trade off psychological um, levels. And that is what I like about Tesla as of right now, because I am shorting it. So what is next for Tesla? Again, a lot of uncertainty for future. Again, this is kind of like, um, where I'm going to be expecting a lot lower earnings um, in, the, in the future because, again, we have been killing every single earnings. That is what I'm expecting for Tesla for future. So next earnings is going to be very, very interesting. But they 
did you know roll out the semi-auto which is um also very very um interesting but that is it um for tesla that is my thought process hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm still shorting tesla but definitely start taking profits we're up over 50 percent on shares that that's absolutely insane and especially the last thing that i want to actually go over is again you know we had stocks like roku we had stocks like uh paypal we had stocks like shopify okay a lot of these stocks ran incredible and these stocks were inflated during covid all of these stocks were inflated with stimuluses with just many people getting you know checks that they didn't need or they didn't deserve and now you have you know everything crumbling back down to the previous level before the covid level which is the 2019 high for the market so i'll be going over that in tomorrow's video hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys later bye bye